Texas is home to 1,300 deer breeders, more than any other state. But after one confirmed case of chronic wasting disease last month, officials want to take action now. And that's got some worried about the impact it could bring to businesses and hunters. 400 people are expected to turn out to a special meeting today at Texas Parks and Wildlife to find out what's next. Back in June, a two-year-old deer born in a Medina County breeding facility near San Antonio became the first captive animal in Texas to test positive for what's called chronic wasting disease, often compared to mad cow disease. One option includes killing some of the deer at the facility where the two-year-old deer was was detected with the disease. While lawmakers and officials work to stop the spread, some breeders are worried they could become overregulated. Well, I think it's important to remember that while this is very serious and while it has very far-reaching far reaching implications, uh, it's not a crisis. Um, we have a good plan in place. Uh, we have an expert team of epidemiologists and veterinarians, uh, breeders and experts in the field that are helping us to uh, conduct and assess the best risk management strategies, um, and I'm confident we'll get this right. That meeting gets underway in about an hour at the Texas Parks and Wildlife Office. Well, the rare disease has some Texans worried because it could potentially impact millions of white-tailed deer, including the state's economy. Here's what we found about chronic wasting disease. On the Texas Parks and Wildlife Department website, the disease is considered deadly, and it can spread to other deer by animal-to-animal -animal contact or a contaminated environment. The agency says chronic wasting disease poses no risk to people or domestic animals, but health officials warn hunters not to eat the meat from animals known to be infected with the illness. And for a look at precautions and symptoms, we have a link with helpful information for you to check out. Just click on the story we have for you on our homepage, kxan.com.